Okay, so let's look at question three. Right, question three. A student investigated the force needed to raise a mass through different liquids at a constant speed. She set up the apparatus as shown in figure five. So here we are. We have a Newton meter, same one as from question two by the looks of things, attached by a piece of string to a mass. There's some liquid, um, and it says that she's going to investigate the force needed to raise the mass through different types of liquid at a constant speed. Right. In the investigation, there are several variables. Draw one line from each variable to the correct description for this investigation. Right. So we've got control, dependent, and independent. Okay. So uh, independent's the one that's easiest to remember. Maybe it is the one variable you're not going to change. So uh, sorry, it's the one variable. Yeah, it's the one variable you are going to change. Right. It's the only one you're going to change. Dependent is the thing you. Um, measure it's the thing that depends on the independent one and the control stuff is is what you want to keep the same so that you do a fair test right so what is being controlled here they did say the speed would be the same the whole time so I would have chosen speed but they're also going to keep the mass the same so the mass isn't changing either what's changing though is the liquid they change the liquid that's the only thing they're changing. So the independent one is the liquid, right? And then they see how this other thing, stop them, this other thing depends on that. And the thing that they're interested in is how the force depends on the type of liquid. That's what they're trying to find out about. So that looks correct to me so far. Controlling variables um, and measuring variables is the essence of science. But uh, why not take a slightly different take from Pickle Rick on what science is? Because I invent, transform, create, and destroy for a living, and when I don't like something about the world, I change it. And I don't think going to a rented office in a strip mall to listen to some agent of averageness explain which words mean which feelings has ever helped anyone do anything. I think it's helped a lot of people get comfortable and stop panicking, which is a state of mind we value in the animals we eat, but not something I want for myself. I'm not a cow. I'm a pickle. When I feel like it. So, you asked. They collected some results. So um, table two shows the students' results. We have water took a force of 10 newtons, 10.0. Washing up liquid was 11.1. Glycerol was 11.5. Syrup was 13.8. What is the resolution of the Newton meter? Tick one box, just one. What the hell's resolution? So um, if you get, uh, if you look at old school uh, mobile phone photos, uh, back when people used to have banana phones. Um, or uh, slot phones that slide out. Um, uh, the cameras had very few pixels, and so they were low resolution. The higher the resolution, the more uh, detail you can give. So, uh, a high resolution camera would be like 50 megapixels. Some cameras go up to that kind of thing. So, um, uh, what we mean when we say this in uh, science is we're talking about the number of decimal places we can measure to. So, this measures to. Um, three decimal places you can three three uh, significant figures here so um, the resolution is down to 0 0.1 right that's the uh, that's yeah that's the resolution 0 0.1 um, it's the smallest to which we can measure okay let's look at question three I'm gonna go and check the definition on that actually the student wants to display her results how should she display her results so we have tick one box we have a bar chart, a line graph, or a pie chart. So we could have a graph that looks like this. We could have a graph that looks like this. We could have one of these jobbies. So um, this is good for showing percentages of things. If you have 100% of a product and you, it's being shared among things, that's good for that. This is good for showing how one continuous variable changes with another continuous variable. And this is show, it's good for showing how different categories compare. And I think we're comparing different categories of liquid here, so I would go for the bar chart. Um, so it's because it is uh, one of the variables of the variables is a categoric, categoric variable, right? Uh, and w which one is that? One of the variables is categor categoric. It is the, remind myself again, it is the type of liquid. It is the type of liquid. Right. Okay, so 
3.5, a force of 13.8 newtons is used to lift a mass 30 centimeters vertically, vertically through the liquid. Right. Use the following equation to calculate the work done in lifting the mass. Work done equals force times distance. Choose the correct unit from the box. Right. So, um, yeah, work is always work is only done when you use a force to push an object through a given distance. Right. So, if you apply a force to say you're off, Melanie. If you apply a force to say 10 newtons to an object and you move it through a distance of one meter you will be doing force equals 10 newtons times one meter equals 10 joules of work right that's how it's calculated and you can kind of think of being paid joules of money because work you get paid for right and it's a good a good analogy as well because the people who first came up with the idea of energy and work were worried about not wasting money um, in steam engines by buying too much fuel so the unit is the joule. I know I've got one of my three marks now. That's good. Um, then I've got to use this formula. They've already given it me. So I can start subbing what I know in. And like I always say, just stick the formula there first and work out what you can substitute in first so you don't get mixed up. Do I have the work? No. Do I have the force? Yes, 13.8. Right? Do I have the distance? Yes, they say they moved it 30 centimeters, but it's in centimeters, right? And this is an issue. So we need to convert centimeters into meters. Um, uh, otherwise, we'll get the numbers completely off. So how, do, how am I going to convert 30 centimeters into meters? Um, well, let's have a think. There's 100 centimeters in one meter, right? So 30 centimeters. Well, let's think about it like this. 30 of 100, right? It's 30 of 100. Um, so I can see it's 3 tenths of that, or it's 0 0.3, right? If I calculate that, th 3 divided by 10, that gives me 0 0.3, right? So it's 0 0.3 of a meter is what it is. So I will use 0 0.3. So this is another one of the marks because I did the conversion. And then I'm simply going to grab my calculator that I brought with me because I'm a good boy. 13.8 times 0.3 gives me 4.14, 4.14, and the unit is joules. Okay, right, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.